Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 3 with the finals. The finals. It's finally here. I'm sorry. I can't help make bad puns. It's a congenital def. It's a congenital disease. I I sincerely apologize. It's out of my control. But that aside, this is the finals. Randy versus Cube. And I am joined by Google Froggy there. Yes. Okay, yes. Google Frog, yes. I'm with Google Frog, yep, who just I'm won third place. Congratulations, Google Frog, for third place. Well, it was pretty good, I think. It's interesting to see what QB's doing. Surprising stuff. Well, that's QB. Really? You're still surprised? Anyway, the game is on, though, and Randy in the northeast side of the map going for Cloaky Bots, while QB going for an air start, which on Trojan Hills is not actually that surprising. However, Cuba being Cuba is also not that surprising. We're going for a Raven Snipe here from the looks of it. Uh, G Frog, you there? Yeah, it's it's fairly normal, I think, to start air and use Ravens to pick off metal extractors just to be annoying. Yeah, so that's nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, the sound on? Okay. Sorry, the new music, I don't know who added the new music, but the levels are completely off compared to the main music. So if the music volume right for most of the old music, the new music is too quiet. Yeah, there's one that seems to be very silent. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. Oh, I just realized something I need to... Oh, apparently I have an accent. Well, yeah, you do. You're from Australia. That's going to happen. Yeah. So I think... Randy's. Oh no. It, there's an S. Yep. So, with this, that means he's probably going to go straight into Gremlin, and yes, he does exactly what he does. And Glaive, as well, for only yes, one of them going for quick. rating, though. Let's see, is that. Well, I'm not going to do too much. Though. We'll see if a comm snipe happens. I mean, I'm surprised no one's really gone for comm snipes recently. Is that, is that something new? Because comm snipes are typical. Uh, comm snipes, I think, were all that common. It takes a lot of ravens all in one go to build up. If you wait a long time, have ravens to just surprise them with a comm snipe. There's going to be a few minutes in and they'll be suspicious. And you'll feel so much that the comm snipe probably won't even just be useful. That's a good point. Actually, a really nice shot on that Gremlin too by the Raven. However, also noticing off topic a bit, but why is everyone going Hovercraft? Like, did the meta change oh, overnight? I missed that. I, I missed that in the, the games I cast. Have... Hmm? I just sorry, you're saying? They've they've realized that daggers have a good alpha. And if you play them a bit differently to normal raiders, they actually do quite well. Ah, okay. Just because I noticed everyone was going hovercrafts all the time, and is really very surprising because I hadn't seen any of the just exhibition matches I've done recently. It's just this one tournament, first time it's come up, and now I have Cube going back trying to defend with the Ravens. Bit of the weakness of the air start, but should be able to work. I think. Yep, all the all the glaives are going to go down. So one last glaive goes down, and the defender is killed in the process. But at this point, I think there are enough Ravens for a comm snipe, and there's enough justification for it too. Randy's commander is his main builder, and 12 metal, so that's a third of the metal right there, is in the commander. I noticed that he was actually going for a comp snipe until he found the glaives and then had to turn around, because there's not enough defenders to kill that many glaives. That's true, but at this point there aren't any glaives left, and Randy is going to get sniped. One of the bombers are going to get killed in the process thanks to the gremlins, but the other two will... You need three bombers to kill this commander. You do, so I but I think they'll be, be able okay. to... He's to jump at the oh! right time. No, he jumped at the wrong Ooh. time, but it doesn't matter. One of the bombers did no, not matter. make it. One missed. No, it didn't miss. It died before it could drop its payload. Oh, it died. Yeah, it got killed right before. Which is rather unfortunate, but still, more metal extract is going down. So Randy's still being kept down. QB doing a wonderful job keeping Randy from getting too big. Because, of course, that is really a big thing. Well... Naturally, of course it is. And you don't want your opponent to get too much of anything. 
So yeah, Cube keeping Randy honest, though admittedly Cube himself is going air start, which is really kind of a weird thing to deal with. Although admittedly, I think Randy has enough. Randy's got enough gremlins to deal with this. The thing matter of about a month ago was a lot more air start than we see now, and so Randy's quite experienced with it. Yeah, and that that actually did see in the last tournament as well. There's a lot of air starts. I haven't seen it in a lot yes. of exhibition matches, but I have seen in the ter previous tournament that it did come up, and yeah, I'm not surprised. I actually have seen it in my own games playing, and I found that two gremlins will beat a bomber outright. Like, the bomber might be able to get his payload off. This is the only thing, but two will at least make it a suicide mission, if nothing else. So, Cubey's got a caretaker at the bottom right. He's probably going to start um, With switching storage. to some. What, what the heck? Well, he's accessing. He wants to spend it all on his factory that he's going to make. Oh, right, he, of course. He, he might not want to make many more bombers. Actually, yeah, he's going for two characters. Oh, two storages. First, but a gremlin about to spot it out, and one of the nice uses of gremlins, of course, is as an invisible scout. Like, good luck knowing what your opponent knows. However, I think QA could still go for. Well, mass mech snipe. I think comp snipe at this point is pointless. Without more mechs is being destroyed. But just hitting a bunch of mechs is all at once. That seems like the best thing to do. And that gremlin oh. has been... Sorry? That's important. He ran out of energy. Oh, so yeah. That's... Cubay could make a factory without Randy knowing exactly what it is. But there's another gremlin on the way. There is, but it's going to be known about. And the commander can deal with it. The commander is going north to basically intercept. And the light vehicle factory being built up by the caretakers... Yeah, so unless Randy is stream snubbing, in which case he will know in half a minute, but... Or, actually about 40 seconds, at least. But otherwise, yeah, that is that is true. It, that lack of energy, you just gotta be really careful about that. I have I have had that problem show up in other games that I've casted. Is people, is, if you run out of energy, it's just cloaking does nothing. But I'm kind of surprised it's coming up for Randy, actually. He wasn't raided out, was he? I guess wind generators are well, a little bit unreliable. Oh, the wind generators were killed. A bit weird. Hmm? Playing against an air start is always a bit weird. Yeah, that's but true. I think Randy's got his gremlin in place. Yeah, that's that seems likely. Now, just gonna. Okay, just double check. Is there everyone in the stream? Google Frog is coming in, okay, right? Because I'm actually not hearing exactly the same thing you're hearing. I have some processing going on in his voice. So just. Let me know if he sounds really weird. If he, if he can understand him, great. But regardless, Cube is. Oh, that was an attempt in the conjurer. Missed everything. He didn't even hit the metal extractor. Got a conjurer the second time though. But yeah, now light vehicle switch into levelers. Yay, That's leveler a scorcher. Stuff. Yeah, it is. It's a the lot of money. At work. He's been able to just pump much. out. Very rapidly. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen storage used in a competitive setting, actually, ever. I've never seen anyone actually use a storage for that purpose, which is surprising, come to think of it. But yeah, over the course of the past year, I have not seen that happen in any of the games I've casted. That come to mind, at least. And it I probably would used, have. Just one in a hundred. Okay. I think Andy may be in a bit of trouble. Those LLTs are going to go down soon. Yeah, they're going to go down. The commander's going to go down soon afterwards. And the air units aren't really coming up here, but it doesn't matter because the ground... It's... The commander's being pushed Ooh, out of the way. Just Maybe that defender really that pushed in. Oh, Vaughn's a bit low? Okay, I can deal with that. Sorry, I just wanted to know because there is a bit of a buzzing artifact. I think possibly because of Mumble. So I was trying to... Trying to get rid of that, but I'll also pull up the volume that you will be more audible. So let, okay. Let me know if that is- This game is, is still fairly even. It, yeah, it is Their actually. economies are almost matched. And militarily, it's just a matter of type advantage at this point, because although admittedly, Cubic does have a lot of crowd control potential. I mean, Randy's commander is gonna be taking a fair amount of damage right now, and Actually, Randy's commander is going to go down right now. Down it goes oh, with the glaives. Of, of the Phoenix there. 
That was really That's nice use. Piece. Just making sure that the commander would never heal up enough to avoid two bombers killing it. Or two ravens, rather, killing it. And at that point, just Scorchers is tearing apart everything. I think this is game one. I mean, Randy still has a couple defenders around the map and some economy around the map, but... Yeah, he can't produce enough to defend against the levelers and the ravagers. Yeah, round, round two is coming in right now. Leveler, ravager, spam. And there is nothing to deal with this. I mean, Randy he has half... build power with the commander. No, but the, the caretaker is not even done. And there's... Trying to get a conjurer up desperately or get that caretaker finished. Oh, there is a second caretaker. Sorry, first caretaker, which is going to help out. But perfect timing coming in by Kube as the caretaker is trying to build each other before the production ramps up again. And that's going to just tear it apart. I think... Well, that's it. I don't think. That's it. I don't think this is it. This is... This is simply it. There's no more to be done here. The character is going to go down right away. The factor is going to go down yeah, soon Randy after. Yeah, has no, no ability to attack ground. Nope. So that is... That's game one. Brief, but air starts tend to produce games like that sometimes. Pretty often. It was quite even up until the end. If you got these gremlins in a better position, then he's, and it probably would not have been sniped. Yep. Well, that was game one. That was that was kind of surprising. So I shall have to adjust the wind counter, which I realized probably got wrong again. Although, okay, it's the wrong order now. So yeah, zero one for Cube. Remember, this is best of five people, so this is going to be another at least two games. But Cube has taken game one, so Randy gets to choose map for game two, and we'll see what he goes for. Probably Comet Catcher Reed. Oh, no, no. Red Comet, apparently. Yeah, Matt. Red Comet is what is what his choice is, so we'll get to that when it starts, which will be right away, actually. I need to fade out the audio right now. So, yeah, that was... Yeah, Randy's probably hoping for something... I don't know, sort of normal-ish? Normal? He's playing Cube. He's playing Cube. What does he expect? He's, he, well, what he yes. needs to expect? He better get anti air so right off the bat because Cube, Cube is going to be going for a calm nap. You and I both know that Cube is going to go for a calm nap. If he doesn't go for a calm maybe nap, maybe not this game. But. Okay, maybe not quite this game, but definitely if he gets to game three and he's one two zero, calm nap to win. Cube is going to do that because what the tradition. You End all the tournaments when I come nap. <laughs> well, Cube does when he gets that far, but he's going for a shield start instead, so definitely not game two. While Randy goes for light vehicles, which on this map is a little bit surprising to go for the shield bot factory. I've seen it before, but I don't recall it working well. Definitely a little odd. As well, well Cube does interesting things with shield. That's true, and he actually did make show that fell in convict ball works very well, and Felt like Convict Ball used for building up static defenses as you go along in a hard push. That's been Cubase's thing. Of course, now he's just starting out as with... As well as the Outlaw. Oh, yeah, right. The Outlaw's now fast keep thugs. Yes, I haven't actually seen Cubase... I think they used that in a game it. against... Larry? Not sure. I don't think so. I don't... No, not Larry. Someone... I forget who. There, well, were, there were many games. There were many games. You played against Anarchid, Cube, Lowry, Sprung, and that was it. And I don't... It was on Wanderlust, though. Oh, it was probably the one against Anar... No, the one against Anarchid, you weren't playing Shields that game. You were playing... Something else. Oh, well. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, I'll get to it when we get to the cast. I'm, I'm sorry. I... <sighs> I don't have the best memory for individual games, which is really bad. I'm trying to get better at it. But yeah, I think... Let's see, Outlaws, I don't recall you using on Wanderlust in any of the games I casted. It was probably against Sprung, because I casted every other one of your games. Not sure then, because I saw QB do this thing get Outlaws and Thunder. And they're... They're very healthy. They've, they've got shields around them, so they synergize well. And yeah. Running close. Yeah, the old thug Walk into their base. That's an old strategy. Yeah, true, but outlaws are now faster, so. That's true. 
they're actually useful for that strategy now. However, anyway, back to the game. So QB, getting scouted by Randy. QB is going right away for Outlaws. Yeah, he's going for Thuglaw. Man, you got that right on the money. And Randy going for Scorchers, which, oh boy, that's going to be painful. Randy needs to go for Levelers, I think. Slashers aren't oh. a bad idea, but Levelers, yeah. Light view vehicle's weird against it, because Scorchers are pretty good against shields. But Scor Leveler also goes through the shield, so they have well, two sort of Scorchers solutions. are good against shields when you get up close against a few shields, but when you have an entire pack of thugs, every shield is another thug's shield. So you can't really get under all the shields. There's no under for yeah, so all of the shields, so in that case, Leveler is far more useful. But regardless, Scorcher is what is up right now. We have Scorcher Slasher, and Randy is slightly ahead, but basically on par economically with Cube. Though I think Randy actually has... Yeah, Randy's expanding in two directions. Cube is only expanding along the south side. Hasn't apparently gone for any workers for the purpose of expansion yet. If at all. Actually, I don't think Cube has gone for any It's a very weird expansion. It's quite aggressive, I'd say. Well, it's... Just walked right up. Well, it's drones style of expansion, actually. The worker on one side and commander on the other. Drone does that all the time. Although, he's not in this tournament, but... Yeah, I remember that's something that, actually, Flores pointed out to me in, I think, the May tournament. That's just how Drone expands. It was on a Titan Duel game. Which, on Titan Duel, is actually really it's, powerful. So. His Q is just... We may see some constructors at some point. Yeah, you probably just alt queue them in, but there's well, there's Ed to Randy's four, three constructors so far, so he's only got the economic lead at this point. He does, but not sure about how well that worked defensively against Thug Law. I mean, once that pushes in, then it's just going to be a matter of basically mowing down. Probably if it goes along the north side, if Cuba goes along the north side, then Randy's basically going to just. Tear, have that torn apart. Though Cube is going through the center instead, which is a more defensible position. Or, wait, hang on a sec. No, Randy's commander is going back to the base, so Cube will be able to go in from any angle without too much opposition. There is some. There is one scorcher going on in the back for harassment purposes, which will be a pain once these convicts get in. Although there but are Randy's two got no idea what's going on so far. He should be able true. to see the outlaw waves now. Though. Let's see, I think it's... No, not quite. If you check his vision, it's very close, but not quite. He has the radar, but he doesn't see the outlaw waves. He sees the shields now, and now he sees the outlaw waves. But he should know what it is. Yeah. I, the effect's a bit further than line of sight, and those outlaws are just pooping him everywhere. You can, but you can't see them that far away, because I just switched over to his line of to his line of sight, and didn't see them until they just got the effect itself into line of sight. So yeah, now he's aware, but also well, at this point, a lot of stuff has been closed up. Slashers are up, but as soon as he's going on, but his slashes, which he preemptively produced, can't do anything against this. Nope. It's just not enough. For the, th the leveler is up, however. There are there's one leveler which is the only saving grace, but even that I think will go down too quickly. Not like, three or four levelers would it be enough. May at this point, get but... oh the reload time so long with this. Yeah, that's the thing. That it just doesn't have enough firepower to make that work. But it's taken down an outlaw, which is one of the, the main features. It has taken down an outlaw, but Randy's commander's got to go down, which thing. will take out the rest of the ball. But even then, that's Randy's commander, although at 26 metal, that's not the biggest loss. It's a survivable loss, for sure. It won't give QB the game. But still, well, ooh, one more. One more shot with the thugs, and that will do it. There we go, and the thugs survive, oh, the too. the thugs are still up. The outlaw, no, but the, the thugs, down, yes. Though. They are, but they're recharging relatively quickly. And another outlaw trying to come in to reinforce does not succeed, but still, enough thugs. Gets rid of a caretaker, that is huge. That's the big blow. Now there's no production for Randy, floating out pretty heavily. Well, QB can just build, actually, flo QB floating too. QB needs to get that advantage working Well, now look what QB's done. After the initial push, he's just built a few constructors. We had those few minutes ago. Yeah, and he's building. And just expanded everywhere, naked, because he knows Randy's not going to be doing anything. Yeah, especially with the thugs still in the base. Finally getting cleared out now. But QB, however, does not have any caretakers near. It looks like going for a proxy factory right out of the south center. There's a caretaker well, maybe being built up to there. Build hmm? A lot of defenses. That's possible too. It is where his commander is. 
Yeah, but still going for two. Okay, going for two caretakers followed by a couple of lotuses. Still, two caretakers sounds to me like what you'd build for a proxy factory. Not sure what he's going to do with that, though. I mean, the Thug Law... The big Thug Law ball burst has come and gone and dealt quite a bit of damage, too. Pushing Randy back, but I don't think it's really mattered that much. I mean, Randy is now counterattacking and going towards the north. Randy, well aware... Thanks to Radar, actually, well aware of what is going on to the north. Does see the expansion, or at least an expansion there. And Thuglaw attack round two, coming along in the, so the center, from the south to north, and... That should to... win. The, the yeah. don't have it. No, they don't. Not with the slow, that's for sure. And even with without slow, the shields just stop them. And now, Slasher's getting stuck on the LLT's withered frames. Not much more to be said about that. This battle basically becoming a bit of a stalemate. QA retreating while at least distracting Randy from attacking the expansion, which is real success. That's really where QA succeeded in that fight. QA definitely has the economic advantage now. Aha, uh -huh, gunship! He's Told you, there's a factory. Built the solars. What? Ah, yep. Yeah. Gunship factory. Being built up, and that is. Actually, the solar's a good idea too, because QA is down on energy. Energy is the bottleneck at the moment. And once again, Kyubei moves to defend, and with the time bought to himself, actually, or, yeah, the time they bought themselves, that's that worked out pretty well. I mean, Lotuses are destroying the Ravagers fairly effectively, though at this point, getting yeah, overwhelmed, but still bought some time, and now, well, doesn't matter, Thug Law Retaliation. I mean, if Randy plays this right, he could kill off Kyubei's main base and almost all of his income. If he plays it right, yes. Kyubei's been playing very aggressive. But at the same time, QB probably... Oh man, what should QB do in that case then? I mean, it depends on what built... Okay, Brawler being built from the gunship plants is probably going to come over and basically stop everything from destroying QB's base outright. Because QB only has a slight economic advantage. I don't know advantage. if Brawler has the damage. Hmm? Sorry? QB has to... Randy has to just run in. And Randy's not doing... Oh, wait, is he... He is... He is still hesitant. The He's Ravagers are moving in. The Ravager, He's got nothing yours there. Yeah, the Ravagers are moving in, but the Scorcher's not so much. That will happen a few minutes later. And there are enough levelers up that this Thug Law strategy is starting to fade pretty fast. I'm not yeah, starting to fade. Randy's it's just to pure level by the look of it. And, there are, okay, and now main base is being taken down as well. But Brawler Rush might just finish this. I don't know, though. I think Randy is going to take it this match. I think it's going to be 1-1. Kiba had a really good position there with the Thug Law, but... Randy just getting massive economic advantage. Just needs to get... If can get rid of all of those caretakers. QA gets rid of all the caretakers. Randy will at least be slowed down once again as QA basically rebuilds. And stopping the crashers first is important, but get the caretakers. Get the caretakers or get the factory. One or the other, or both. Actually, the factory's even better, because now the factory's going down. With the area of effect, he can kill off any nanoframes as they spawn. Brawlers have decent AoE. They do, and that's, that's the factory down. So it's still kind of even, and while Cubay is... Cubay could dive the constructors. Oh, but Randy's very good. He's built a caretaker with masons at the left of the map, so he cannot run out of builders, you know, in this basic way. Nope. And he's building a good defender nest. Not sure if it beats brawlers. It's kind of tricky. A defender does have less range... Than, no, yeah, less range than the brawler by 40. But since Brawlers tend to strafe around a but bit and don't always stay at their max Brawler range, has lower line of sight, so it does not know where they are. Brawler's yeah. sort of gunship artillery, you know. Oh, one of the Brawlers is about to go down. One of the Brawlers does go down to the Defender Nest, and that... But he's he's really aiming for that Mason. That's true, and the Mason does go down. The Brawler might have been a suicide mission, but there are more Brawlers where that is coming from. So we'll see. But that Heavy Tank Factory switch on top of the Brawler switch, the Brawler is just covering that. While getting rid of the mason, stopping any additional factories from being built in an obvious position, though, over to the northwest, we do have a factory possibly under construction. And the levelers are the big problem, although admittedly, without the shields, it's not as big of a problem. In fact, Reaper, yeah, Re I was about to say, if Reapers are the option, then levelers are not the answer. Well, he's run the, bro he's run the levelers in to try and give him some breathing room. If Kubi wants to keep his base, he has to his brawlers, brawlers, yeah. Oh, or maybe not. He has enough turret sense. So well, QB made a good decision to keep his brawlers there, it appears. Yeah, and getting rid of all of Randy's economy. 
Okay, forget my 1-1 one, one call. That's... Meanwhile... Meanwhile, we do have a Clogobuck factory in the northwest building up conjurers and gremlins. Okay, yeah, Randy's lost this. <laughs> Unless he switches the gremlins to glaives or to... Not even glaives. Rockwoods and warriors, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, but look, QB's He's finished with brawlers now. He's switch after switch. He's That's what I mean, is that and... the gremlins are coming in and not much is dealing with that. And I think if Cubay figures out where this is coming in, if he goes to the northwest just to be sure, he's going to find it. Well, he's found the conjurer. Yeah. And Randy has and very Cubay... little economy. Oh, yeah. There's nothing going for here. Nothing going there for this at all. I mean, the Reapers are basically just tanking everything as they should. And there we go. It's been spotted. Cubase found the factory, and the Brawler will destroy it. And at the same time, we have just Reaper just, just trying to defend her nest. But the main story, that is down. And Randy, GG's. We have 2-0 for Cubay. Wow. Okay, next game. Next game, we have Comnap. Because, because it just will. Because it's Cubay. Really don't know. You it's don't think still so? Randy's map to choose. Oh, that's true. It is Randy's map. Yeah, Cubay's probably gonna end up taking something like Frozen Planet and then do that if it gets three one. Or sorry, two one. Although it looks like Randy has not yet chosen the map. Oh, we'll see. But Cubay is okay. Randy's actually gonna go with icy shell. Just, just. Just because it popped okay, up. Okay, I don't see this map very often. Oh, it actually comes up a fair amount in the matches I cast in replays. It's, okay. a, it's a fairly flat map with one real terrain gimmick is that the center has a five metal expansion, but it's only bot pathable. So usually ah. you see a cloaky mirror on this map. Sometimes people go for light vehicles and then regret it. But... It's the contact then. Basically, yeah, you can't take the center unless you have terraforming or you have cloakies or bots in general. So Randy is going for heavy tanks. Cubay is... Well, hasn't chosen yet. Nope, hasn't chosen at all. Maybe he's jumping towards it. Jump, oh, jump bot factory. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So jump bot versus heavy tanks. Randy in the top left and Cubay in the bottom right. And I just realized I forgot to tweet the fact that I'm on finals. Oh well. Anyway. Have you seen? Look at this queue. It's three puppies and a jack. That doesn't surprise me. That really doesn't surprise me. Jacks Very have bold. been. What? Well, it's okay. Bold. But the puppies. The puppies kind of make sense just as a scout unit, and the jack makes sense because of panthers. Like, people are using jacks versus. Well, she's more against venoms, but panthers, same problem. Pyros basically can't get in quickly enough with the Panthers to be able to deal any damage before they're stunned and stun locked. But Jacks are absolutely awful against Raiders. That's Every true. Every Raider is faster and has more range. That is. I think. That's where it's the It's reasonable to think that Randy's going to make Raiders. It's reasonable to think that Randy's going to go Cloaky Bot, which I think is what QA is relying on, at least partially. Uh, I just realized yeah. QA doesn't know Please what. And beat Jack. Hmm? So I think Randy, I think Cuba was thinking Randy was going to go cloaky, and then each puppy would counter a glaive, and the jack would go in for final assault, and just tear it apart. I think that's what was in mind. But now that heavy tank has been revealed, might be a switch. Because, yeah, I mentioned the strategy musings, punditry, when I forgot that Cuba doesn't actually know what Randy's factory is. And it's not reasonable to assume heavy tanks, but actually, wow! Textbook Kodachi usage once again. All of Cubay's economy goes down. And it's... There you go, it gets away. Or maybe not. No, oh, it what? does. Oh, is it getting greedy? Randy, are you getting greedy? He's getting greedy. He's not quite paying for it, though. Or no, he is getting... He is getting greedy. Going right back around. Cubay does not spot this, though. Cubay is entirely on line of sight. But... Oh, no, Cubay does spot it, barely. Randy is trying to juke out Cubay's commander... But honestly, there's no juicy targets other than that one mech that the commander has well protected. This Kodachi... Well, the solars would hurt a bit. Oh, that's true. The solars would hurt. So, Cubay... Now, Cubay's economy is awful. Oh, yeah, Cubay's starting to fall behind. And that one mech is unprotected, gets hit. Cubay's commander is the only thing actually using the economy at this point. 
well, okay, sort of. It's actually the factory, but the, the commander morph is still going on. And the jack... Well, he wants the commander morph to deal with the code. Of course. Probably riot cannon or There's something. There's the jack, which is one shot. Pretty much. But unfortunately, Cupid does not have... Where's that range? Where's that upgrade? That upgrade is 95% done. But at the same time, Randy has basically taken the entire north side of the map, or is moving to take the north side oh, of the map. He's just going for it. Jack, oh, yeah. Commander, is going to win the game. Well, that's the he idea. Oh. Yeah, right. That. Well, I guess the Jack will handle the Panthers pretty well. Shotguns are a bit of a close-range weapon. Yeah, so that makes the Panther rather difficult to fight with, because it'll explode and stun out Cubay's commander. Nah, no, I don't think it's going for that much damage. Oh, yeah, it's like 500 or so. Okay, never mind, you're right. Although Cubay's commander has... It's shotgun auto repair. There's nothing else on top of that. Mr. Q is not just morphing in transit. He almost might as well. There's nothing he's gonna build with this. He has I'll money. Build LLTs. Oh, of useful. course, of course. You're right. That's the thing he would do. That's the thing everyone would do nowadays. And Randy. Yeah, the thing that you do with commanders and also commanders. Yeah, the thing that you do. Build defenses. I don't do that very often. Bit of a weakness of mine, but. Wait, defenses? You mean um, you place down? Mobile weapons. Forward weapon emplacements. Oh, well, QA's commander goes down regardless. Shotgun does not do the trick. However, Randy's commander goes down soon after, and the Jack, Hero Jack, needs to win the game on its own. So now, every every unit he owns has been AMP'd. Oh, never mind. Hero Jack loses the game. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh there no, we go. 2 1 for Randy. Sorry, 1-2 for Randy. So, QB has 2, Randy has 1. But QB gets the map choice. That might have been part of the gamble. It goes for a map where you can easily calm nap. If it's Frozen Planet, I will not be surprised. Oh, whoops. It was Game 3 and Icy Shell. But Frozen Planet's obvious. I built a Defender just to stop the Blast Dreams. Oh, yeah. Wait, no. That's not, that's not that map. The other Frozen map. The one I think... Ice Coffee? Yes. Yeah. That one, that one can allow people to be cruel sometimes. All right. Well, this, I don't know. Maybe QB will go for it. I think QB should go for it in the next game, because if it fails and he gets into the last game and it doesn't work, that's gonna be two. That's gonna be three two. That's gonna be like two two match. The final match. Two all. Going for the calm nap, that's not going to work, but now it's fine. Now it's safe. He can lose another match. Oh, and we're on Ravaged. Okay, that would work too. That would work even better, I think. Randy's going to start air on Ravaged. Oh, you're right. Well, we'll see how it happens, because it's going to be an air fight. We'll take it to the skies. Here you go. Can I block off my base with one laser turret? If you can, it makes air. Yep. Well, maybe it's going to be air start both ways. It's an air battle. Although, there's lots of things you can do here. This you map can do everything here. Weird. Like, I... You can jump up the cliffs very effectively with jump bots. You can jump up the Spiders cliffs, you can climb can the cliffs. It. Bots have enough room to maneuver without vehicles getting in their way, but it's flat enough that vehicles can actually get around. This is an everything map. Yeah, so they could do it. Yeah, it's like, this is an everything map. Oh. Onyx Collision is an everything map. I think to a lesser extent that Trojan Hill is an everything map, but we are starting right away. And Cloaky for Randy, while Jump Bot for Cubay. I can't call it. I'm sorry, I just can't call it. I honestly thought that he'd be going for the... I don't know, maybe that'll do that in the very end, or maybe he just decided, <laughs> you know what, maybe I won't do Comnap. I'll show that I can win without Comnap. Without relying on my old Comnap buddy. I mean, com strategy Brandy's buddy to Comnap. has got no idea what's going on, clearly. What he's doing, he's just said, I'm going to build a gremlin and see what you're doing. Then I'll decide what I'm going to do. Yeah, which is going to give Cube a massive advantage. Cube is being decisive well, here. Okay, maybe not massive. It's not that big of an advantage. It's, it's an advantage, but it's not... It's not the biggest thing in the world, because... Will the gremlin... I think the gremlin will just... Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Actually, not even just oh, perfectly, it's actually that's... long since missing the pyro. It doesn't even get close. 
Eight of them is off. Yeah, the timing was any different on that, but nope. That gremlin is completely oblivious. That pyro is getting in, and there is no lotus in the way to defend. And that pyro is a no pyro, radius. but the gremlin will see it. Sorry, the conjurer, I mean, will see it. Just barely last second sees it. And Randy doesn't have a whole lot of metal in stock to actually build up a lotus right away. So oh, he can build a lotus fine. Oh yeah, but it's just in time? He's He's got a big problem now. His factory yeah, is going to be lost. factory is gone. His... Everything is gone. Randy, Cubase being completely unpredictable just won him this tournament. That wasn't unpredictable, as in. That was a. Yeah, but he caused Randy to feel really. Scout. Yeah, but he caused Randy to feel really uncomfortable what to do, thus ah, basically yes. getting the advantage on timing. This is my man, he got the initiative. Now, admittedly, Randy has a scout inside of Cubase's base, of which Cubase is none the wiser, but. Randy basically just lost all the initiative. Cubay can build up whatever Cubay wants. Basically it comes down to how well Cubay can do his macro and can do his decision making when in a perfect oh, situation. Oh, well he said, my, I'm better off this game. Let's build four puppies and then a jack. Well he just destroyed a pyro factory. The only thing he didn't do was destroy the rest of the economy. But even then, character is going to take a little while for that to all come together. And this pyro here, nice kill on the defender and Radar, but at the same time, not sure why he's going for the jack. That jack confuses me. It, it doesn't. And really... Randy knows the jack's there, and he knows he's got time. I know that's the thing. Although QB doesn't know that, that's the only thing that would pull this into two-two. Is that Randy does have an information advantage, a massive information advantage on QB. Randy, QB knows sort of what's going on. Randy knows everything that's going on. Well, I think you can be. It's to be expected. That you're probably going to be scouted, especially yeah. with the no other raiders he's seen in the factory. That's true. At this point, pyros would be expected. Although pyros are upcoming in the build queue, and Kolgabat Factory is being rebuilt. Like two seconds left, so there is time. Probably going to see Zeus again. No, not Zeus. Probably going to see Rocco's. I suppose would be the thing to do. No sides. Oh, okay, interesting. Going for sides against that. Cubay is. He knows what the base looks like. He knows the kill size. Yeah, that's true. There's no defenders. Although in play. defensive pyros, which are upcoming, would be pretty effective. And oh, out of energy. Worst thing to happen for Randy right now. Lost his energy. There's no way to deal with that. Well, okay. Now the gremlin has been revealed. So it's just a matter of find the gremlin, stab the gremlin. Gremlin's dead. And the pyros, or actually defensive puppies. Never mind. The puppies are the ones that are completely unknown. And one puppy will beat one glaive, so all Cubay needs is 100 puppies. And then Randy will be sorted. There's also the scythe here, which is going to be a bit of a problem. Not going to be seen, but it is going to see the jack approaching. Let's see, though. The scythe, 800 damage, 800 health. These deal 400 damage. So yeah, if they... The scythe will be killed off by two puppies. It'll basically explode. Yeah. Which is going to be immediately. Doesn't even get any damage in. Just gets killed by two puppies. Well, it did 160 damage to puppies. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the puppies killed themselves. That is a thing. But still, Jack moving in with no opposition and Pyro's moving in. And surprisingly, Glaze. I just don't know why he's going for Glaze. Rocco's, I would think, make more sense against Jack's. Look at, look at this. Look at Glaze. Glaze are pretty good against Jack. They get hit sometimes because they got. Not quite the range. Yeah, but have... Pyro Jack combo. They have a pretty good turning circle, but they're not instant. Okay, but Pyro Jack combo is going to be death for the Glaives. Yeah, that Pyro. And uh, just the Jack alone, I still think Rocco would be a better option for range. But then again, I tend to sort of go with Rocco as my go-to. I don't know what to do in this situation. Let's build Rocco's. Or let's build well, something. Jack it's Rocco. It's been zoned by zoning out the Pyros he's got in the base. Yeah, and fortunately, though, the Pyro do does not handle the Lotus as the well. Glaives. Randy's commander, one more shot! Randy's commander goes down, and that actually doesn't mean much, because Randy has already got his economy set up. Although, actually, no, no it's actually... Fine, it's actually... Well, the production's a bit of a problem. The, the Conjurer's right here, though. Oh, well, he's got a caretaker more. there. Yeah, the caretaker is there, so it's something. But even then, five Pyros coming in along with puppies. Cubay's still way ahead. Well, Cubay's got five Pyros coming in, which is... Quite a lot. 
And what's being produced is Rocco's. There we go. Got the Rocco's. Wonderful. What he needs to do is put ticks on all his turrets, and then the pirates jump onto the turrets and explode. Yeah, that would work too. Although it looks like some harassment over in the northwest being stopped, but not before killing a couple of metal extractors. And that is going to basically be it, though. Where the pyros are approaching, one of the pyros is coming in, just testing the waters, seeing the Rocco's, which are a problem, but not a big of a one. It can get rid of the conjurers in time, and then get rid of the metal extractors. And Randy's still even on economy, and even on production, but. I don't know. So Randy has secret right expansion, which is actually giving him decent rare coverage. That's, oh yeah, that's right, it is. That's giving him rare coverage entirely inside of Cuba's base, so basically Randy's entire game has known exactly what Cuba's been up to. Has basically been map well, hacking this entire game, there. and Cuba is actually still doing pretty well, despite that. Despite basically being map hacked. Oh, and the pyro jumped, so it could be seen over the windmills. Ah, oh, Yeah, that's... That happens. Actually, the best... I don't know, not because of that, but the best thing that happened I've ever seen, and I actually have a screenshot, one of my screenshots for the intermissions is a pyro that jumped right as the slasher was hitting it. Just the image looked really cool, and I managed to capture it as the explosion happened, but definitely jumping over and line of sight, making line of sight work for your opponent with the Lotus is probably the most embarrassing thing you could do with the pyro. Still, that pyro did a great job, got rid of a couple of metal extractors, and ultimately, well, metal extractor and wind generator, and kind of cleared the way to an extent. And his economy is just going to be. I think Randy's going to lose well, everything. Deal with it. There is the oh, one base. This, this might be gain. Pyro, no turrets around. Warriors coming in, but very slowly. Yeah, and the factory is going to go down quickly enough. Cuba knows how to get around this for line Let's of sight. Let's chase it around to. No, it's not going to be. Oh, the defender spots it too, too late. Because there's going to be so many puppies coming in here. It doesn't even matter that the defender spotted that. But puppies and are very weak. They like, are weak. That lotus might be able to kill half. Oh, that's true. Actually, that, yeah, that lotus is the biggest problem. There's puppies no easy line of sight avoidance. Units. But still, at the same time, Cubay has been expanding for most of this time. Actually, not enough. And he has twice the income. He has twice the income, but not been expanding enough. Could have been expanding over twice the, okay. the income, but Randy has a bit of a boost claim. Yeah, he's and given time to use it. Information as well. Loads of information. I mean, at this point, Cubay has no real knowledge of what's going on in Randy's base other than what he's already seen. But nothing, no knowledge of what's new or what positions of things are. Admittedly, that might become available once the Central West expansion is taken. Because radar if built there will obviously give coverage of the main base. Oh, and Cubay's thought to check the right side. And he wise choice now. that is indeed, because at this point, Randy's basically lost the main advantage that exists, the main information asymmetry. That's been broken. Now, of course, how... Oh, okay, Jack, that's how. <laughs> that's how Cuba's going to deal with it. Just send a Jack over, tank everything, destroy everything, and then that's basically going to be it. While also containing the main base. Now, if we don't see an air switch, I'll be surprised. That's a way out of the main base. We are seeing a he lot has a of caretaker on the right. So it could do something. I think it's not going to do anything. It's a bit late. No, more I think more power is coming in. Yeah, more power. Oh, okay, the main base is getting assaulted pretty heavily, and the jack moving over. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Moving, jumping in the main base, and a couple freakers because that was bad timing. And a pyro moving around. Just one pyro because that's all that's really needed. But enough turret in place. But the rest of the pyros come in right after as the first pyro dies. Finishing off that area, and the Jack, as well on the right side of the map, taking out the Conjurer. That's the biggest thing to destroy. And after that, basically this game. And the Pyros have been forced out by a Warrior, but even then, Factory is still heavily damaged. Pyros is extremely fragile. They're surprisingly fragile. Oh yeah, they really are, but the Lotus now down. Oh no, not quite down. Still has 15 health. But yeah, Pyros, they definitely have low health. That's why, I mean, Lotus has countered them outright. But that Jack needs to go for the Caretaker. That's the biggest target. Although I suppose getting rid of the Lotus isn't a bad idea either for a suicide mission. Because at this point... Yeah, now Pyro can just... Yeah, well, I'd say two Pyros because of the Lotuses, but yes. Pyro will finish it off, but the Warrior, definitely the count, the unit counter to the Pyro. Now, where is... 
Cubey's product. Okay, Cubey's not producing anything. Cubey, build something. Don't rest on your laurels. Build something. You've just about won. You have this game in the bag. Now don't let it out. Well, okay, maybe you can let it out because that'd be a cool comeback. And then we have a two-two, and then we have three-two finals. Here, yeah, that'd also be exciting. Cubey, do whatever. You can't. You shouldn't be able to hear me anyway. There you go, he's decided he's been throwing pyros at the base for the last five minutes. Maybe we should just make make weapons. Yeah, that would be a good idea. If you're significant if you're ahead Ravens will just finish it. Especially with this many caretakers pushing them in. Well, no, still pushing pyros. And pushing ravens. But hey, he's got mostly energy is the problem. Not pa not metal, it's energy. He has more energy, then he should be able to push the Pyros. Okay, there we go. Now pushing the Ravens. One Raven every five seconds as soon as as long as his wind generators are working at full capacity. But well, with more wind generators on the way, yeah, that should be fine. And Randy still has very little economy. The eastern side of the map not been attacked since, but I think the Pyros yeah, the Pyros are going there. A couple of Pyros are going to that side of the map, which Will finish it off while the Raven's getting built quickly. Now, Randy, I don't think has... No, Randy has no knowledge of what's going... Oh, darn it. Okay, apparently my camera exploded. Anyway, back to the game. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. But, well, Cubey is being forced out of it by the word. No, it's not going to be it. That's, that's, that's still lost. Raven's coming in to finish no, it got... off. The point at which you have one Raven for every unit your opponent has... You've won. Definitely. You've provably won at that point. Because there's not much that can be done, especially if it's the anti-air units. Because like I said before, Gremlins, it's 2 to 1 ratio. And I, if Cubit doesn't build an air pad, it might be a slow... It'll be a slight problem. But he gets a few air pads up, and that'll be... And it'll take a few more minutes. Yeah. Which, frankly, Randy's the only one who doesn't have, because this looks to be the last game. So, once this is done, then I can just sort of go to bed. <laughs> and so can you, because it's what, 1 a.m. for you? Oh, uh, 2.30. Oh, yeah. So you're ending at the time I started, basically. Uh, yes. Well, at any rate, this is... Well, Raven's coming in. This is probably... Yeah, this is it. This... Even the gremlins coming in aren't going to be enough, because if the gremlins... Too many gremlins come in, and, well, hey, we have pyros. We have pyros in Poriam, a fiery death. Come visit. See all the various selection. Ways to die horribly. And there are the air pads, so Cube is well equipped. This is game. This is also Specular Reflections, which I actually hadn't noticed the air pad had. But, regardless, it's game. So QBA just needs to basically go in with... How many Ravens is QBA? Okay, 17 Ravens, or sorry, 13 Ravens so far. So far. And he stopped building Ravens, so apparently... No, switch back to Pyros. So is exactly the number you need. Yep. Remember everyone, 13 Ravens. Lucky number. Although, admittedly, it's more than enough, because it just gets rid of the factory, gets rid of the everything. Everything's gone. Pyro got rid of the east side of the map. And Randy throws in the towel. That is game, that is match, that is tournament. Cube is the July champion. Long ways come since the May tournament. But also, I mean, hey, half the team in the 2v2 tournament. And now... Try that again because of script audio. As I was saying, tomorrow, expect YouTube videos, not today, tomorrow at the earliest. 
Today is gonna be just, just, yeah. I'm too tired. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If that didn't come through before, thank you, Google Frog, for helping me out with the finals cast. And that will be. That will be it for me tonight. This is finals. This is done. It's over. Good night, everyone. Okay, and see you. Bye. Congratulations, QB. You won. Although the sponge hasn't updated yet, but yeah, QB wins. 3 1 against Randy. There we go. There's the updated stats. 3 1 against Randy. That is the final, final thing. And also, the biggest tournament Zero Case had that's actually completed. But that aside, that's done. Okay, done. Everyone can sit down and just. Hope you had your popcorn. Hope you enjoyed it, because that's it. Good night.